Welcome back, Dinosaur Man. This is the Talking T-Rex, aka Wadelsi speaking here, and welcome back to Jurassic World, the game, with another episode here. We're gonna talk about the new Indominus Rex hybrid coming to, well, might, Jurassic World, the game, and Jurassic World Alive. But before we get into that, make sure to stomp an Indominus Rex or T-Rex foot on that subscribe and bell button, or bite it in half to get notified for more of these uh, videos. Now, we are back with the Indominus Rex Generation 1, the beautiful Indominus Rex hybrid from 2015. And then, of course, we also have the Indominus Rex Generation 2 there. But we are getting an Indominus Rex Generation 3, just like the Scorpius Rex um, in Jurassic World Alive. We are getting an Indominus Rex Generation 3, which I will actually I think get its own name instead of a Generation 3. And that is called the Indonemis, which is a hybrid between, of course, the, uh, well, it's a super hybrid. Oh boy, <laughs> no time for that now. We got an Indominus Rex to take care of, um, which is a hybrid between this Indominus Rex. Now, in this game, it might actually be a super hybrid of the Indominus Rex Generation 2. Never mind, it's also the Indominus Rex Generation 3. Oh, ne never mind. It's gotta be a Generation 3 Indominus Rex. It's gotta be. It's gotta be like a hybrid, super hybrid. It's gonna be a super hybrid, but it's Indominus Rex Generation 3. So, there you have it. And the hybrid, of course, is going to be made out of um, Indominus Rex, of course, and Smilo uh, Nemis, which is a super hybrid between a, a Smilocephalosaurus, uh, and that is made out of Smilodon and Pachycephalosaurus. And to make the Smilonemis, you need a Carbonemis, of course, which is the turtle. Now, cool fact is, Gozzi, why do you think, the talking T-Rex, why do you think this will actually also be brought over to Jurassic World, the game? Because it's not even out in Jurassic World Alive yet, as, well, <laughs> this video has been put up. Well, it's funny that you would ask that. <laughs> Because it is a high possibility, because we simply have all the requirements in this game already, which sometimes, or most of the case, when I'm putting up these new ideas, it's not the case. Some other dinosaur needs to be added into the game first before we can even go into our idea. In this case, the super hybrid. Well, I, heard, I hear what you're saying, the Smilocephalosaurus is not actually in here yet, but that will be released first, because in this game, we do already have a Smilodon, if I go to it right there. It, okay, it's all the way to back. We do have a Smilodon, uh, which I have a level 1, but <laughs> I will obviously um, <laughs> feed this to level 40 when the hybrid does get released. Dodo, watch out. There you go. And we have a Carbo uh, Nemis there, if we scroll all the way to the left. Here we have the turtle that we can level up. So we got that one down, plus... We have a Pachycephalosaurus. If we go to the roster right here and we select, of course, the herbivores. Go down a bit. Here we go. I've got a level 20, but I can obviously uh, level it up to level 40. Let's place it down. And we have a Pachycephalosaurus. So, yeah, there we go. We got most of the ingredients yet. We just need the normal hybrid and then the super hybrid of it. And then we can create the new Indominus Rex. By all means, I think it is possible that if they bring over blue, two blues in the park. If we, if we can have two blues, one in the enclosure and one in the raptor paddock, I think this might be actually actually possible. I think Ludia would actually add this as a new Indominus Rex hybrid because who doesn't want a new Indominus Rex hybrid, right? Yeah, <laughs> everyone I guess. But yeah, let me know what you think. Now, of course, we're going to continue talking about this while I level up this Carbo uh, Nemis uh, there, which I haven't done before. So let's evolve you to, of course, 11 because if this Indominus Rex um, gets released in this game, we want to be prepared and get every um, ingredient for it to max level 40 in order to fuse it into that new Indominus Rex hybrid. Now, it is amazing. I am a total fan of this new Indominus Rex hybrid and as for, well, in, for the concept, I, I just hope it's going to be the Indominus Rex rigging so it will not be on all fours like they did with Indotaurus on the Indoraptor rig because in the concept art we saw for Indotaurus before it got released, it was on two, it was standing on two, um, <laughs> it was a two-legged dinosaur and then in game it's a four-legged dinosaur. 
So I hope, I really hope they didn't do that for this Indominus Rex high road. I don't see that happening because it's literally Indominus Rex. Uh, but that's the same for Indotaurus. So yeah, I really hope it's going to be a Indominus Rex uh, rig in there. Because the animations of it, um, I think, are a little bit cooler than Indoraptor. You might think otherwise. I'm, the, oh, I'm just <laughs> the talking Indoraptor in the background. Oh no. <laughs> Anyways. Um... <laughs> So yeah, that's what I think, and the coolest part about this Indominus Rex is that it's feathered! It's a feathered Indominus Rex, and that's what makes it 10 times cooler! It's like a scientifically paleo-accurate Indominus Rex, and I'm here for it! We got that with the prologue, of course, from Dominion, the Dominion um, Tyrannosaurus Rex from the prologue. That sadly wasn't in the movie, uh, spoiler alert, but <laughs> that was totally surprising. Um, so yeah, even though, wait, wait, everyone's seen the prologue, so that's not a spoiler. Um, the prologue T-Rex was amazing, and even in Jurassic World Evolution, it's an amazing addition, a new skin for the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And it's just so cool, because it still looks intimidating, the feathered Tyrannosaurus Rex. And, of course, I'm gonna put a picture on the screen right now of what the Indominus Rex looks like. The, it, it just looks so cool! Feathers on the lower part of the- on the throat there, the lower jaw. It looks amazing in the rest of the body, while the top body is armored with the spikes there. That just would be the level 10, of course, for the Indominus Rex, if it were to be in this game. In Jurassic World Live, it will look like that, and maybe get a new skin in that, like, season pass or something like that. But if it uh, gets also released in this game, it might get, like, level 40 designs and, you know, different color changes and stuff like that. So it will look amazing. Oh, I don't actually have enough food there. Oh, well. There it goes. Look at that level 40 design for the uh, Carbo. Nemi's there. I need to purchase the food. Oh, my word. <laughs> Please, let's get it to level 40, and there we go! It is stopped. Open up. That's, uh, that's a new tradition. It happens so many times when leveling up creatures. I do hope that won't happen when we um, <laughs> create and release this new Anonymous Rex. <laughs> because we don't want that during every 10 levels of... Uh, I don't know why this hasn't been fixed yet, but it's a common bug every single time. So did that final fusing register... I'm not too sure. Oh, I'm back in food again. Okay, that's great. Well, I need to buy food real quick. I wasn't actually expecting this for a, um, a Cenozoic creature, but it's a tournament legendary there, so... Eh, 50-50. I was kind of expecting it and not expecting it. <laughs> and there we go. Level 40 Cabo. Nemis that we will need. Let's quickly um, read through the evolutions. This giant turtle with this 5.5 foot... Uh, long shell lived at the same time as giant reptiles such as the Titanoboa. Ooh, who would win in a fight? This turtle or a Titanoboa? The biggest snake ever. The Carbonemi's name means cool um, a turtle. Oh, cold turtle. <laughs> cool turtle. <laughs> Either way, because the first fossil was discovered in the coal mine in Colombia. That's that's an awesome fact, actually. The ridge on the upper shell suggests that Carbonemi's neck was too long to retract fully, so it tucked its head to the side. Ah, just perfect timing when it scratched the leg there with its, um, well, beak. <laughs> A snapping, snapping beak there. The skull remains suggest that the Carbonemis' jaw was strong enough to bite through armored crocodiles. But the fossil record is inconclusive. Of course, well, how can you... Well, we just have to put it in a battle and see for ourselves then. Of course, let's see the petting animation. Hmm, I wish you were an Indominus Rex. You soon to be Indominus Rex. An ingredient for the, the turtle. Look at that. I love that stomping of the turtle. So there we go. Now we're moving on to the Pachycephalosaurus. And I, I, I recommend for all of you to get this ready as well because you never know. Did you know that Pachycephalosaurus, while well, a uh, mouthful to say, means a thick headed lizard? Okay, <laughs> that's a, ref a reference to the Lost World. Pachy, Pachy. Oh, uh. Uh, Fryer truck, the big one with uh, the <laughs> bald in the head. Fryer truck. Pegasus has an extra thick skull to protect their brain when they ram uh, their heads it, uh, together in battle. Awesome. Well, this has already got a hybrid. It, it can be like, S what's going to be the SDNA for it, of course? That is, that is the question for the ages. It might be this one. 
It might be because it already has a hybrid and Carbon Nemius doesn't have a hybrid. So it will just have Pachycephalosaurus um, SDNA. If we go to SDNA, we do not have a uh, herbivore. Well, Ankylosaurus, but that will not be uh, concluded in this uh, super hybrid. So let's actually get uh, another Pachycephalosaurus. We got 18, so I think we're good. There we go. Another Pachycephalosaurus <laughs> there. Keep reminding me of Sticky. There we go, another one going in. Now, this is a hybrid. It's totally gonna be awesome. Totally gonna be awesome. A new Indominus Rex hybrid that can maybe actually defeat Indoraptors because the Indominus Rex Generation 2, or Indominus Rex Generation 1 for that matter, can doesn't really stand up against level 40 Indominus Rexes in this game. Um, you would have, if you're facing an Indominus Rex level 40 and you have a level 40 in Indoraptor or level 10 for that matter, a level 10 is the same as Indominus Rex, kind of, maybe even a little bit higher. I forgot the stats there. T-Rex brain, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think if this Indominus Rex, the Indonemis, the feathered, that, um, did I say Tyrannosaurus? I meant Indominus, um, gets um, in here, I think it will be stronger than Indoraptor. I kind of want it to, because there's so long in the in the Raptors being like on top again, and just to bring back the old days, just like I'm just waiting for Rexy, the iconic fan favorite T Rex, to be in this game as well, just like Bumpy or Blue, just like non-hybrid dinosaurs that can compete against these super hybrid dinosaurs. Um, which would be awesome because that was the first uh, thing in this game when Jurassic World the game first came out um, You know Indominus Rex was like the first hybrid and it was straight off the bat the strongest hybrid And it can relive the days with that again Just like the T-Rex being the strongest dinosaur in the game until Indominus Rex got here So yeah, we're just waiting for that Jurassic World's Pachycephalosaurus are closer to the original in size standing at six feet in height and weighing 990 pounds Okay, so let's evolve you and get four more of these. So we have you at level 40. We might actually not <laughs> uh, need to do this because, like I just said, it might be a factor for the SDNA, Pachycephalosaurus SDNA. But you never know. And it's not like Pachycephalosaurus is a legendary, requires much DNA, much food, and etc. It's a rare. It's one of the dinosaurs you get at the beginning of the game. So. It's a win-win. Just to be safe, I'm getting my packy back. <laughs> there we go. Two more there. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I made this video for Jurassic World game because it is definitely coming to Jurassic World Live, and I hope to unlock it. I do not have everything in Jurassic World Live, so that's why I'm kind of hoping for it to be in this game as well because <laughs> I have much more progress in this game compared to Jurassic World Live um, because I don't even have all the ingredients in Jurassic World Live. Um, the Smilo Nemis, the Super Hybrid, no, I do not have that one. Uh, my Carbo Nemis in Jurassic World Alive is like level, um, 19, one level away, and since it's rare DNA, you can't, like, easily get it, or fuse it, whatsoever, it's a normal creature. And then we go to level 40, Pachycephalosaurus, the final evolution fact by, uh, budding heads, the Pachycephalosaurus frequently disable their implants, allowing them to temporarily escape their enclosure. What? You never come up in the code 19, so that fact is n <laughs> Oh boy, well I see that code 19. Oh, it is an Indominus Rex! Perfect for this episode, and the music for that is gone. That's also a bug that needs to fixing. Ludia Jam City! Oh my words, there we go. Amazing, so we got... Yeah, it is kind it looks similar, the colors are different! Oh my word! <laughs> there we okay, I'm actually surprised I got the final two. Stay focused, yeah, I can't if you're... <laughs> Trying to commentate over this at the same time. Oh, I forgot that one. Why do- Oh, okay. Stunned T-Rex? I thought I really had that one. Even your roar is muted. You don't even want to- <laughs> Can't even hear your anger. It is the same kind of skin, is it? Yeah, it is. Like, of course, in Novel Strix, um, number one, movie accurate, um, white and gray there. But just imagine the feathers. It would look so good. Oh, my word. Okay, there we go. And almost got them. Did I not actually creature escape? There he goes! <laughs> oh my word, assemble team. Oh, let's all put the Indoraptors in here, shall we? <laughs> Maybe even the Scorpius Rex. Start. Um, contain. Let's do it straight away. There we go. Indominus Rex, Generation 2. We finally get the music. 
It's fixed. Okay, I'll fully concentrate and continue with my story after this is completed. I kind of want to do it at the same time. Back in several stores, I do not have level 20, not even the Smilodon. So it's going to be fairly difficult. It's going to take so long, for me at least. Maybe some of you will have it uh, straight away. But it's going to take so long. It's going to take so long there. And there we go. There we are. Round four, this is going great so far. Indominus Rex, you want to come back or you want to stay away? You're going to get replaced by a feathered Indominus Rex. <laughs> it, that's why it is it uh, escapes, not because I missed all these. Am I going to get a perfect on this one? The final one is going to be the bar. Yep. There we go. Perfect. See, I can do this. I wanted you to escape. So you'll appreciate your little enclosure more when you come back. There you go. In the last episode, we talked about beta coming to this game. And oh my word, it is coming to Jurassic World Alive. Beta is actually coming to Jurassic World Alive. Who would have thought it? I made a video on beta if it would come to this game. But it came to Jurassic World Alive instead. <laughs> so if next time if I make a um, like theory episode of what creature would come in Jurassic World Alive, it will come to Jurassic World game. Like a switcheroo thing. Is that how I'm supposed to think? So we have a couple of these that it, um, I still have not claimed yet. There we go. I am not going to purchase this because it's Brachiosaurus. I actually was hoping for this to be the Dominion Giga. Um, because we got Bumpy and Blue. Why not the Dominion Giga? And I talked about this in the last previous episode. In the beta episode as well. That uh, we need the uh, Dominion Giga model in this game as well. So that is all. Ah, a new reward. Two rewards actually. Oh no, it's still one reward. I almost got that one. There we go. So that should be all uh, good. And now we're going into a battle. I think this is available now. The battle stage 90. Um, which we shall do. Which is fairly going to be easy. Oh, I used them for the containment. That was a bit of a waste, wasn't it? Um, I kind of want to do this with one Scorpius Rex. I think that is possible. And the next one with just an Indominus Rex. I think that's possible. Let's see how we do. Scorpius Rex, here we go, and it's, oh my word, I can't get over, how cool, this has got to be one of the cool level 40 designs, the music's gone, now it's just got to be the rain, <laughs> oh well, insta-kill, that Notosaurus, this doesn't have any uh, level uh, modifications to it, so it's not like a level uh, 99 or a above 100 level dinosaurs, Pro Ceratosaurus, you gotta get defeated, you can't do anything against my Scorpius, it's got to get absolutely demolished. Another fierce strike there. And Terror Daustro coming in. Yeah, you can't do anything. The three. Oh, he can actually do it. 2,000. I didn't see that. Oh, but it's going to uh, Anyways, it's not going for the three block. And there we go. The Toxic Wheels. Oh, it's a crit. I re I'm really sad they removed. Oh, beautiful. I'm really sad they removed the previous death animation for the pterosaurs. I actually like that with the with the cool iconic like roar of it and then it slams down. But this one's not bad. It's just I don't know. I can't say it's an improvement. If there's any other oh boy, we're going to have this again. Okay, let's quickly close that and go back in. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, I kind of hope that would be the case for other dinosaurs um, that need, like, a shorter death animation. I think um, what some of the aquatics... Oh, we got it! There we go, Mosaurus. Did we unlock it? Because that's the case. Didn't that get changed? Um, oh, we have this now! What did I try to get? <gasps> it's a mystery one. It, we did this in the last episode, but I can't remember what I did. I think it was Bumpy. Was it Bumpy? Are we, are we gonna get Bumpy? We got Bumpy! <laughs> We got Bumpy from the prize. That is so lucky. Yeah, I tried. Now it's a Destus. That's amazing. And we need food, actually. So that's great. We're getting that back as well. Great. I actually want to... <laughs> we got Bumpy now. That's amazing. Okay, we might actually do that because I got that as uh, the beacon here. We can change that to the Indominus Rex. Okay. That The game can't handle my decisions. Once again... This we should clip like how many count how many game crashes we get in one episode. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we don't need a Caprasuchus. Uh, we wanted to change the batch uh, beacon there. So where's the Indominus Rex? There we go. Update. Now we get a green one. We can also change the colors, right? Yeah, hologram color. Let's put silver, of course. Um, oh, we can buy them. Oh, that's not. Oh, dark green, pink, and red. Dark red. 
That is looking pretty good. I'll buy that, and there we go. A dark red in Dominus Rex. <laughs> Mr. DNA is like, ta-da! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Your new beacon there. <laughs> That's actually quite funny. So yeah, there we have it. Let's see what the next one is, actually. Battle Stage 91. It is not... Oh, it's a sticky, though. I was kind of hoping for um, it to be an Indominus Rex, but we're not even max level VIPs. Not even max level VIPs. So I'll just put Indominus Rex, like I said, in there. We've got a level 40 Indominus Rex. We'll put two in them right there. Yep, that is great. I think we can do this with only two. Synchronized roar in there. Look at that. Okay, so we can actually kill it in one hit. Music is still here, which is great. It's got two. This is a pretty equal match. Oh, it's got a press the sukus. I didn't see that. Press the sukus. Um, we can kill it in three. I'm gonna go for the three reserve. Let's see what it goes for. It's got three. It can definitely kill me in three if it wants to. It does not go for three. I'm gonna go for the four and the classic two block. That's just what I go mostly go for. Four reserve, two block. And let's see where that leaves me there. It's got five. It can still kill me in three. It doesn't go for anything. Oh no. Who's gonna take the hit? Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let, let's, let's wait it out for a bit. It did go for three blocks, so it's a good thing I didn't attack with my four instead. Now it can't kill me if it goes for six. Go for six. Oh, it goes for five. Okay, it's got one block. One block. Two wouldn't uh, be able to kill me out of the way. One block. There we go. We got this out of the way. And we literally won. We got two. Oh, that is just enough. Four block and one block. No, four reserve, one block. Just a lucky one. There we go. See the Acrocanthosaurus. Which is not a really an Acrocanthosaurus. It's, it's got spikes. Oh my word, it doesn't even have a little sail there. How is this an Acro? <laughs> I failed to see how this is an Acro. Okay, there we go. So we got four, and I might as well just go for the four attack. Let's give uh, Indominus Rex Generation 2. Oh, we got it. We killed it, and then the perfect two, and then this Stiggy. Poor Stiggy. I can't kill a Stiggy. Look at that, slides in on the invisible skateboard. It's got. Oh, six. It can actually might. If it goes for six, it killed me. Oh, come on, Stiggy. No, I want Stiggy to win. <laughs> we can do one attack and three block then. Yeah, I think it blocked. Yeah. Come on, Stiggy. You got this. Knock my Indominus Rex out. Because it's not strong enough. We need the Indominus Rex Generation 3. The feathered one. Seven. Oh, my word. Look at it go. Yeah. <laughs> Take this, Indominus Rex. And it's not enough. <laughs> no. Okay, I'll go for one once again. And three. Oh, it went for one block. The one lucky block. Just knock it out, Gauzy. I can't. I gotta give Stiggy one win. Please attack Stiggy. Knock the Indominus Rex out. We need. I'm just. Oh no, I pressed two! Don't know. Can I still switch? Oh no, I can't. <laughs> I didn't mean it. No, please block. Oh, thank God. <laughs> My words. Oh, I really didn't want to kill this, uh, this thing with this Indominus. This bloodthirsty Indominus. There you go! Stiggy got a win. Look at that. Indominus getting defeated. That's why we need a level... Uh, no, <laughs> not a level 3. Uh, generation 3. So now we got the... Now we're absolutely going to demolish it. With the non-feathered Indominus Rex. Which comes close to it. Top right. Top right, look. And there it goes. Poor Stiggy. Oh, I can't look. Roar up into the skies. And we got a victory there. So, yeah. That is going to be it. It is going to be an awesome Indominus Rex hybrid. A feathered one. It's amazing. The feathered prologue uh, T-Rex might actually um, be in this game as well. There's so many ideas. If if I was working at Ludi, I would be like, we can do this. We can do that. That was going to be... It's got fan favoritism all written all over it. It, a lot more people are going to play and level it up. It's going to be amazing to get these movie dinosaurs in here because that's what this game did, didn't it? The Indominus Rex was a movie dinosaur and they added it into this game. Dominion as well. We got the Inner Raptor, so why not the Dominion Giga, the Feather T-Rex, any other thing. In Jurassic World Live, we now got the skin system. So why can't we switch between like skins in this game as well? Hmm? 
<laughs> Ludi, I'm talking to you But anyways, that's going to be it Let me know what you think of this Indominus Rex um, idea Down below, do you think we have enough Indominus Rexes in the park already? Or do you want to see a feathered Indominus Rex? I really do as a super hybrid A Indominus Rex super hybrid It's going to be amazing It's going to be feathered It's going to be so strong I can only imagine the stats of it above the Indoraptor and it would be absolutely amazing to level it up with you guys as well. So yeah, let me know. Now make sure to actually stomp a Indominus Rex or T-Rex button on that subscribe bell button if you want to get notified for the next Jurassic World The Game episode. That This is going to be a regular thing. Now at the end of the video, it's just going to be the t this screen. The game <laughs> server lost disconnection screen. <laughs> it's going to be a thing now. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I hope all of you lovely dinosaurs are going to have a great day. And I see all you lovely Indominus Rexes in the next episode. Goodbye dinosaur members, the or hybrids, the talking T-Rex. Out.